Aloha everyone, Kapehe here. All right, so in today's video, we are going to be going over the 10 need to know Mac terminal commands. So what is the terminal? The terminal can do a lot of things on your computer, but let's keep it real basic in this video and we're gonna go over those basic need to know commands. The terminal itself in its most basic use is being able to navigate your folders and files within your computer. Now, other things you can do with the terminal are create applications, like with create React app command, or do GitHub commands, or the list is very, very long. But in this video, we're just going to go over the basic commands on navigating your computer and how to use the terminal for that kind of stuff. I wrote an article on scotch.io, and you can find the written part of this video over there. And you will also find the link to that article in the description below. So let's start off in our terminal. So the first command we're gonna talk about is PWD. So PWD stands for print working directory. Terminal talks about folders using the term, using the word directory. So it's kind of just like print working folder or what folder we're currently in. So the exact meaning of PWD is where am I currently in my computer within the terminal? So let's see that in action. So if we were to type in PWD into our terminal and hit enter, it tells us that we are in the folder users and in the folder Kapehe. So we're able to see exactly where we're at inside of our terminal. So the next command we're going to talk about is CD. So CD stands for change directory, or if we want to call it folder, change folder, but directory is what terminal calls it. So we want to change folder. So we want to kind of jump around a little bit. So let's clear that. And here we're going to do CD. And I already know some folders that are within the Kapehe folder. So I'm just going to write in a folder that I already know lives in there. So if I type in CD documents and hit enter, we will now see the word documents come up. Now, to make sure that we were able to change directories, CD, into documents, let's use the command we talked about right before this, PWD. And in fact, we have now changed directories and we've gone even further into the Kapehe directory. And now we're in documents. So right now, whatever we do will will update or change the documents folder or documents directory. Now, some variations of this command are cd period period. So what that will do is when you do cd by itself, it will put you forward into the doc into the directory that you have written. In our case, cd documents. If you do cd period period, it will take you backward. So whatever is the parent of the current folder that you're in. So if we were to hit enter, and we can do our trusty PWD to see exactly where we are, we do in fact see that we went backwards, one folder. Now you can chain on periods. So if we did, we'll do CD documents, and then here we'll do CD period period slash period period. If we did this, we're jumping back two directories. So you guessed it, we're going to go back to the users directory. And PWD, we can just double check, we're in the users directory. And let's get back into the Kapehe one. And sure enough, we're back there. So those are the two variations of CD that we'll talk about. Now, if you're deep within a bunch of directories, and you just want to get to the home directory, let's go back into the documents. If we want to dive back to the home, just do CD tilde, hit enter, and then let's double check that we're at our home. We are. So that's how you use the CD command. And it's just kind of being able to, it is being able to jump back and forth between different folders that are within your computer. So for our next command, we're going to talk about LS. So LS will show you an entire list of all the folders, all the files, anything that's within the directory that you're currently at. So let's try it out. 
So if we do PWD to double check where we're at, we are going to do LS to see all the things that are within the Kapehe folder. If we hit enter, we see that we got desktop, we got downloads, etc. So from here, I'm going to want to go into desktop. So now I can do CD desktop, and now I live in my desktop folder. So LS allows us to see everything that's living within the file in, in the folder that you're currently at. Now, if we want to go back to Kapehe, CD, period, period, takes us back. PWD allows us to double check where we're at. Now, for our next command, we're going to talk about clear. In here, let's say I just, I'm just going to run a couple commands. PWD, let's CD into desktop. Let's see everything in there. There's nothing in there. Cool. Let's CD back into Kapehe. A lot's going on. I want to clear my terminal view. Just simply run the word clear, and it will clear all the typing that you've done. Simple as that. The next command we're going to talk about is MKDIR. That stands for make directory. So in this command, let's say we are in the Kapehe directory, and we want to create another directory. So we have, and we're going to do ls to list everything. We have the desktop and downloads, but those are just the generic ones that Mac puts on our operating system. So let's create a new one. Um, let's name it. So again, we're within Kapehe, so we are going to be creating a directory that lives inside of that. So we'll do mkdir space, and then we'll do test, and that's it. That's good. <laughs> so it won't give us any confirmation that anything was made, but if we do ls again to get that list, we will now see that test is, in fact, added. So we can cd into test. And now we live in the test directory that we just created. For our next command, we're going to talk about touch. So touch is kind of like the mkdir, the make directory command. But in this one, we are going to make a file. So let's go back to that folder that we just created earlier. So we'll do pwd. We'll list everything in there. And then we'll cd into test. Now that we're in test, let's create a file within test. And all you have to do is once you're in there, and we can just double check. I know we can see it there, but we can just double check the path with PWD. We'll do touch and we'll do test.html. Again, we get no confirmation that anything was made, but how do we check? We can do ls and see that in fact, test.html was created. Okay, so for our next command, we're going to talk about open. We want to open a file and not just folders, we can go and use the open command. So let's test that out with the file that we just created, the test.html. I have gone and put some information within that file just so we can kind of see it. So if we were to type in open test.html, hit enter, and it opened up Safari, and you'll see here, I created an H1 and I created a P tag. And so, sure enough, I can see that Kapehe test slash test.html was open, and we can see the information I put in there. And that's open command. Now, if we wanted to take that just a little bit further, we could CD backwards to check where we are. Great. If we are in the parent, and we want to open up a file that's within a child folder. We don't have to go into the folder. We can just type the folder in. So let's, we'll just show it. So open, and we'll do test, test.html. So we did the file, or we did the directory, and we did the file that we created. So now it's going to open up that whole path for us. I click enter, and again, it opened it up for me. Same thing, test slash test.html, and this is just the information I put in earlier. So yeah. Now, if we want to go back and look at all of the history that we've typed, I know we've cleared a lot, and rather than trying to figure out what we've put in before, 
we can type in the command history. So if we hit that, it will show up all the commands that we've typed up in the past. Another trick to this is just hitting the up arrow on your keyboard and it will go through every single command in the order that history is showing us. And then down will take you back down through that list to the starting point. For our next command, we are going to actually open up a file within terminal. So I know we've done the open command and that opened up the file within wherever it was going to. In our case, it went to the internet. So if we want to open up a file within terminal and look at it here, we can use the command cat. So let's double check where we are. We're in Kapehe, so we're going to do cat test test.html. So that's the path, that's the file that we want open. Hit enter. And if the file was longer, you would just push enter and it would just filter down through the file. And that is the cat command. Now in our last command, this one's not necessarily a need to know, but it's more of a, a fun command. In this one, we're going to have our computer talk to us. And let's, I don't know if it'll work, if, it, if the mic will pick it up, but to make your computer talk to you, type in the word say, and then in quotes, anything you want it to say. So the terminal is fun. I don't know if the mic picked that up, but my computer did in fact just say to me that the terminal is fun. You could say, let's, let's see, see how it says my name. Hey, hey is cool. <laughs> if you heard that, it said Kapihi is cool. We can do another one. We'll do say I am a robot. And, and it indeed said I am a robot. So test that on your own terminal. You'll be able to hear it. And I don't know if you can hear it here, but yeah, go test that out. Now with the terminal, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of fun things that you can do with it. There's a lot of very technical things you can do with it as well. But these are just the basic commands to be able to navigate throughout your computer via the terminal. So use these commands, get your fingers used to them, get your mind used to it. Eventually, LS, CD, PWD, all those are just going to come naturally and you won't have to think about it. But go ahead, try out these commands. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video.